I live in Virginia, which is if anybody knows, they just passed. Uh, oh, you're Demo- screwed. Yeah. Democrats yeah. took everything, and they're they're looking at passing you know sweeping gun control with the blackface you're gun done. and you know all that stuff. So we run into a fair amount of people. Uh, I live in Virginia Beach, which is a home of SOCOM, but even in Norfolk and the outside areas, there's a lot of anti you know gun people, and you run into these people, and they're always asking why. And one of the simplest solutions, you know, that I, when I'm trying to talk to people because. You don't want to make people angry. You want to educate them, right? You want to send them home with something. You're like, well, put yourself as a woman with kids, right? You want to be able to fit. There's no way. Like, I mean, I could beat you with the flu. I'm 300 pounds. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Like, you got to be able to defend yourself. And, and the gun is, an is the great equalizer for all people, black, brown, yellow. It doesn't matter, man, woman. 100%. Women are hands down the most... Um, at risk through gun law and through um, you know uh, restrictions and there's a number of reasons for that and and what tends to happen politically without turning this into a political show is people don't look at the proper data when you really scrape it all off and and you start to take out murder suicides you take out um, the the um, accidental uh, discharges you start to back all those numbers out and you really get down to the finite number of actual shootings and actual shootings with X or actual shootings with Y. Most of them are done with handguns. Most of them are in inner cities. The fraction of these people that are committing these crimes that are um, school crimes, uh, uh, first-person shooter type scenarios is very small. It's, yeah, it's like less than a percent. It's and, very small. It's something like 60% are suicides, mm-hmm. right, which is awful. We don't, you know, we don't people yeah. killing themselves with a gun, but at the same time, like it's... It's a tool, right? And I believe, I can't take credit for it, I believe it was, I, th- I think it was Charlie Kirk that said this. He, he said something like, we're the only country that compo- adds suicide data to gun murder. I don't want to take out words out of his mouth, but it's something along those lines. Yeah, and you need to it, inflate the numbers. Yeah, it should go into just a suicide bucket, you know. Right. Um, mm-hmm. Well, and it's, it's one thing where statistics in general are... De- Depending on what organization, whether it's a news yeah. organization, whether it's a, you know the uh, a political organization, whatever, they typically have an agenda. Even if it's a conservative organization, right? They're going to try and bend those statistics to their will. So when you look at statistics, you have to take them with a grain of salt, mm-hmm. right? Going to the FBI, doing your own homework is the the best way to start this. Mm-hmm.